This group of cyclists is about to take on an adventure on two wheels. All right, here we go. They are following a route that is fast becoming a popular New Hampshire tourist destination. It's awesome. It, it gives you such a, uh, a way to explore the state and see parts of the state that you don't normally get to see. It is thanks in part to this woman riding along. I tend to like riding my bike long distances. I spend the day on the bike, stop in a town, stay overnight, camp. After Marianne Borowski retired from the biotech field, she wanted to do something other states had done, make a dedicated trail across the state. Officially in 2019, the Cross New Hampshire Adventure Trail was born. Cross New Hampshire Adventure Trail is an 83 mile route across the northern part of New Hampshire that is mostly off-road, rail trails, some dirt road, and it also provides a long distance route for cyclists, walkers, equestrians, even skiers in the winter. Mary Ann calls it a patchwork quilt trail that starts on one end in Woodsville, right where the Cross Vermont Trail ends. And I took it right from where it ends there at the Connecticut River, and I'm taking it um, right across into Maine. And we're actually working right now to bring it even further, to bring it to connect up to the East Coast Greenway. The Cross New Hampshire Adventure Trail is another great option to see the beauty of New Hampshire while getting some exercise. You have huge mountain ranges it, as a backdrop to these lush um, lupin fields. And it, you just don't get that kind of, of vision of New Hampshire until you get on a rail trail like the presidential. It's nice to be away from the cars, it's safer. It's, you know, you can ride side by side sometimes and, and talk to whoever your riding partner is. I was uh, coming here to ride around Vermont and Maggie said, hey, why don't you do the Across New Hampshire ride? And I said, okay. Trish Jenkins came here from Alaska to tour New England on two wheels. And you know, you ride places you just probably normally wouldn't ride, like on this trail, you get to see the back roads and you, we saw lupin and beavers and, you know, you, you just see stuff you're not going to see otherwise from your car. And to keep those cycling tourists coming in, you see businesses around the trail adapting. Shuttle services are available to move bikes and people. And local restaurants know those with wheels need meals. We really are just trying to capture the spirit of adventure and um, getting out, riding your bike, hiking, skiing, um, snowmobiling, working hard. Jason Hunter runs Big Day Brewery in Gorham. This hip food and beer stop is a short distance from the adventure trail. He hopes cyclists will park ride and enjoy a beer afterwards. Our staff and our just our whole vibe is based around cycling and so the Cross New Hampshire Adventure Trail fits in perfectly with what we're doing here. Nearby Hub North has seen a jump in cyclists taking in their glamping experience. They also host one of the several free bike service stations along the route. And for those looking for something sweet along the adventure trail, they can pull off in Jefferson. Ice cream is a big thing for the cyclists, of course, and their drinks, and we provide, you know, tables and whatnot for them to eat. Josie Cody at Israel River Campground says she's seen riders from all over the country. A lot of people are here to visit the White Mountains, of course, and we're the halfway point on the connector trail for the Cross Adventure Trail. And so they come here, they have snacks, they might have lunch. Some people sleep over here as they do one end to the other. You don't need lots of experience to take on the adventure trail, really just a sense of adventure. We're not big bikers, but it was like we, we've got ourselves new gravel bikes and decided we were gonna go. <laughs> Elaine Thomas came up from Northampton and tried it out for the first time and loved it, with one exception. We haven't seen moose, though. I'm really oh, looking for a moose. 
perhaps next time. In the meantime, Mary Ann took the moment to bestow a new badge of pride. Now, here you go. This is your official celebratory <laughs> embroidered beautiful end to ender patch she's hoping many will seek out the cross new hampshire adventure trail patch and share a photo of this unique new hampshire experience they might have a little dirt on their face and <laughs> you know the bike may not look as clean as when it started but you know heck it's been an adventure if you come back clean and and you haven't gotten a little bit of mud on you or, or maybe a bug bite or two either <laughs>